I started off scripting this video, but I decided that I was actually going to talk less like a YouTuber and more like a human. Because uh, I feel like that's kind of the point of this. Uh, and I might cry. Uh, I, 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 ju I just cried. But I might not cry. Essentially, I am unhappy with YouTube. And I have been for the best part of two years. I think. It's been long enough. Let's put it that way. And I have kind of known that I need to change what I'm doing for a while. I've just been putting it off because it's scary. Because I am so grateful for what I have. Like, so grateful. I have the best job in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And I still think that. Like, it sounds kind of weird to say that, like, I'm unhappy with YouTube. I don't even know if I've said those words yet. That's the title. Or no, I'm unhappy. I don't remember. <laughs> it's going to be something that makes you click on it. <laughs> but I think the point of this video is to sort of explain where my head's at. And for years, I wanted to make a video where I explain how unhappy I am with YouTube. Or at least my presence on it. Because I have been for so long. And every time I start writing it, and I don't like what I've said. And, I, and, and funnily, it took me sitting down and just listening to some music and sobbing. And just going, just say how you feel, which sounds so silly. But I'm just saying how I feel, and it feels really liberating. And now I might cry again. <laughs> so, how do I feel? I think the thing that's been the most limiting for me is the fact that I just feel like I need to be creatively fulfilled by my channel. Which may sound ridiculous and that everyone feels that way, but I, I don't think that's the case. There are plenty of YouTube channels where people just post the thing that works and the thing that gets them the most views and the thing that gets them the most money. And as much as I like all those things, views and money and subscribers and all that, I feel so attached to the quality and sort of creative integrity of what I make. This channel, I started because I wanted to be a YouTuber and make cool things, not because I wanted to be rich. And there are so many old videos and old vlogs and even newer ones that I really love. The boxing video, the hypnosis video, the first ever vlog where me and Tommy hung out. It may have just been me driving to Tesco, but at the time, I'd never made a video like that before and it felt really creatively motivating. And pretty much everything I did at that time felt that good as well. The couple of Gmod videos we did, all the early vlogs, they all felt great. And that translated to you guys as well, because the channel blew up really quick. I didn't even know how quick it was. I did an interview with the Lab Bible that never got released. Uh, and in that, they sat me down, and the first question they asked was, uh, how did you feel starting YouTube and hitting a million subscribers in six months? <laughs> Which I didn't even know I'd done. <laughs> um, and I haven't just said that to brag, though I was pretty proud of it when they told me. Uh, but it really put into perspective for me how quickly this all happened and how little time I, as an 18-year-old, had to process all of that. And the fact that I hadn't at all found my feet with what I wanted to do on the internet. I just knew I wanted to be here and try things. And that meant that by the end of, like, 2021, I remember turning to my dad and being like, I don't know what I'm doing and I want to step back and work it all out because I'm so stressed trying to come up with something every couple of weeks to put out that I think is good and that I think will do well and that I think people will like. And it was just, it felt like there was so much pressure that I never expected. And I guess I could have just taken it away at any time, but like, I just been handed my dream job, you know? Like I've, I was, of course I wasn't gonna stop doing this. I, I had this, which I always wanted. And I, I was living my dream from when I was like 10 years old. And like, why on earth would I stop posting? And not only that, but like, yeah, I felt that I owed the people that had got me to this position, click subscribe, content to watch, because that's what they subscribed for. And I still feel that way. But at the same time, I had made this channel to make things that I cared about. And I didn't like that I didn't know what I wanted to make. And that is possibly the most awful combo you could live with. I can't think of a more stressful thing than trying to come up with a video that I genuinely care about and think is good and I'm passionate for, but also trying to turn that around and get it done within two weeks or less. And giving myself that pressure just dampens my creativity further that makes the situation worse and it's a spiral. So I've tried sort of leaning either way. There was like 2022 where I uploaded four videos because I just went, I will only do it when I care. And I wasn't particularly happy with that. I felt that I was letting down the people that had subscribed because they were rarely getting content. And you can't grow a channel without loading. Like you, you, the analytics dropped and I hate to sit here and talk about numbers, but like they, it's my job. Of course they matter to me. And I don't know if you've ever seen the YouTube dashboard, but if your channel like has like, it's like not doing as well as it was the month before, YouTube makes you feel bad about it, man. Like 
That 10 of 10 system is the most mental health ruining thing YouTube ever did. Right now, I'm just going to put on screen, like, just look at this dashboard. How is that in any way made to make me feel creatively motivated to do anything fun? It's <laughs> just, just such a depressing thing. So then I went in the complete opposite direction and went, no, the reason that this is all going bad is because I'm not uploading enough and I should just let go a bit. And so what if the idea isn't perfect? I'll just put it out. And I, especially recently, have been really holding myself to getting a video out every two weeks. And that has ultimately led me to post some things that I've not been as happy with as I'd have liked. And don't get me wrong, I think all these videos are good and funny and I'm happy with them, but they don't give me passion like they should. And I fear that they aren't having the effect I want because as much as me having funny moments with friends on Discord is fine, I don't think anyone's looking at it and going, this guy's really cool and he makes really cool content that no one ever made before. In a way where when I was doing the vlogs, I really felt that they stood out. It just doesn't make me feel fulfilled. And that is almost just as stressful to me as when I didn't feel like I was putting out enough to fulfill my commitment to you guys. So I've come up with a solution that I want to try and maybe it's not the right thing to do, but I'm just going to do it because I'm sick of coming up with ideas and then going, no, I'm too scared because what if it destroys what I've built? I don't want to have fear anymore. I'm just going to do things because doing things is good. So I'm starting a brand new channel simply called Jack and on it, I will be uploading weekly, which I've never done before but I'm making myself try. And you may think that's silly because I've just spoken about how much pressure was bad for me, but this is the point of this. I want to have a place where you guys get regular content that I think about and make sure that it's funny and cool, but I don't want that pressure to make sure that every video is super unique and something no one's ever done before and super creatively driving. I just want to make content that's good and I want you to be able to see it regularly. So there is already a video up on that channel right now where me and Tommy look through YouTubers first tweets. And honestly, it's really funny. It's nothing that wasn't good enough for this channel. I just want to make that channel the home for that stuff. And as well as that, I'm going to be trying new things that I never tried on this channel before because I was too scared. And honestly, I'm just excited to try new things and see a channel grow again. I've had this same channel for the past three years and I want to hit milestones again. I want another silver play button. I want another golden one. I want to like do these things. And I, I, I genuinely can't believe I'm saying this in this video because it feels corny, but I would really appreciate if you were to subscribe to that channel. Truly, it will be the home of the majority of the content I put out on the internet for the foreseeable future. So it really is worth it for you as well if you don't want to miss out on the things I'm posting. So you absolutely want to be subbed if you don't want to miss it. But what happens to this channel? I've built it over the past three years and it has like nearly 2 million subs. I'm not just going to abandon it. I'm absolutely way too proud of what we've built here. I'm just going to take away the pressure there is to upload at any sort of regular schedule. I want to make videos when good ideas that I'm passionate about come to me and make sure that they are absolutely the best they can be before you see them to make sure that you're getting the best, the coolest, the most original content on this channel. I want to feel like how I felt when I was making the vlogs again and feel unique and feel like I'm really making a difference to YouTube. Now, that could mean each video takes three months or it could mean everyone takes three weeks. There's really no way of me saying, and it honestly will be totally sporadic. But honestly, none of that matters to me. I just want to put things on this channel that I care about and people will watch and go, that guy's cool. So really, you're getting more content than ever out of this. Probably the first time a YouTuber's ever said they're sad and made more videos because of it. <laughs> and as you can tell from the slightly different editing of this video, I might try out a slightly more mature style here. I figure there's probably a good few people that haven't watched me in a while, but saw me in a sad thumbnail on YouTube and clicked on this. There's no need to pretend that I haven't gotten older and you haven't gotten older and that I'm not involved in the same things I used to be. So I'm going to be making videos that I truly want to make in the style that I want to make them which might mean they're a little bit different. For example, this is the first video I've ever posted without any subtitles. I'm going to try playing around with my style here and make things more artistic and make things more cool. But if you want things in the classic way with the funny subtitles and the funny editing, go over to the other channel. It's going to stay mostly the same in terms of style over there. We're just going to be trying some new ideas. But that is me. Jack Manifold in 2024 is a lot different from what he was when you probably last saw him in 2021. And I wanted you to know that. But if you've been watching this whole time and you never went away for all those years, then one, I appreciate you. But two... You have nothing to worry about. All I'm really saying is that the content over here is going to get a lot bigger and I'm going to get a lot more passionate about it. And I'm going to try some new styles and see what I really like. I'm just going to let my creativity completely flow through. But on the Jack channel, I'm just going to be throwing out the same sort of stuff you've been seeing for the past few months on this channel. Funny Discord moments, stream highlights, maybe some new things as well. But it's going to be that classic Manifold content that you love. But if you are new here, then of course, feel free to subscribe. Because I feel like the next video, whenever it is, is going to be very, very fun.